off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay murky today it's gonna rain in a couple hours but I was able to get a really nice walk in I just love this trail that I go to it's just a little loop it's a half mile loop but then I started like going up onto the trails oh man it was so pretty and it's already quiet at the regular park trail to begin with and then I just I started meandering up the hill and going through those trails and like I didn't even go on all the trails that I could have gone on um, one of them led up to like houses and, and a street and stuff and I didn't want to be like I didn't want to be at houses I want to be out in the woods and so I didn't go that direction but I'm I want to like go and explore it a little bit more but I might go with Jason um, next time uh, one of the things on my little to-do list um, this week uh, is to go to Old Navy uh, I have super cash <laughs> I don't have to spend it I have $20 off a $50 purchase which if there's thing on, things on sale, things on clearance, that can go very, very far. I have tried to look online um, to try and find some good deals, but I just haven't found anything that I felt like was worth getting. And so I'm gonna try the store. And if I don't really find enough to make it worth it, I'm just not gonna get it. I'm not gonna get anything. Um, but clearance is always a good thing to look for. I do need new shirts in different sizes. So I'm gonna go in and see what we can find um, other than that, I don't really have anything on the schedule today. Um, I might I might work on a few things at home. I am going to start to pack for our trip next week. We go to my sister's baby shower next week. I need to find a box or have Jason bring a box home for all of my decorations and gift bags and the presents that we have for her. Um, I need to have two of my girls um, go and get their gifts for her and the baby. Um, but I want to package it all up in a box so that it doesn't get ruined on the drive there. So I could start that today just because I am a pre-planner and a pre-packer. So I like to do that kind of stuff. So maybe I'll bring that, I'll bring you along um, with that. Um, so let's go see what I can find at Old Navy. No matter what I do, I'm still gonna be dreaming. pretty good I got some clothes for our trip to Hawaii next year with the girls just because it was on clearance hang on let me get in okay now there's an old couple parked in front of me and they looked at me funny like I'm um so this sundress um I'll kind of show you what it looked like on the hanger um but I got this sundress for next year and just because it was on clearance and it hit my $50 target um, to use in order to use my super cash so um, and then I got this pink one um, super cute I actually put back one of the other clearance ones that I got um, these are for working out now I get super hot working out whether like even today it was only like 65 degrees when I was out walking um, and I had just my tank top on 
but even especially when I'm working out at home once the rainy season hits or working out at the community center when Ashley is at cheer and whatnot which starts next week I think um, I get hot indoors when I work out so tank tops will be used all year round then I got this um, greenish one greenish teal blue whatever you want to call it and then I put back one of the clearance ones that I found um, because I found this cute um, whatever you call this a Henley green Henley long sleeve I normally don't do long sleeve shirts unless it's like a sweatshirt situation but I've I've realized that like I wear a t-shirt underneath everything and then I always have to have a long sleeve sweatshirt on or a jacket whenever whenever I go out during the winter so I thought maybe I'm just gonna start and but a lot of that was because long sleeve shirts they looked funny on me with my large chest and they don't look as bad now that maybe that's just me that's just me and a self-conscious thing and a I think it's like a claustrophobic thing as well with the long sleeves. I don't know why a long sleeve shirt is different than a long sleeve sweatshirt. I don't know the difference. I think maybe it's also because I need to be able to take the sweatshirt off if I get hot. I get very claustrophobic when I get hot. And so I need to have an exit route. <laughs> so anyway, that green shirt is going to be kind of cute. Obviously, I have like a sports bra on. So it's kind of fitting funny and like the bra showed through the neckline. So hopefully... A regular bra will work better. I will try it on at home, keeping the tags on and make sure um, that it works good. But with those cute bracelets I made yesterday and my green watch band or my leather watch band, it's gonna be really cute to have this long sleeve shirt um, on and wearing a pair of jeans. I did look at the jeans. I just didn't have it in me to like start trying on jeans and going down that route because I haven't lost weight in my stomach necessarily. It's shifted. Um, in its contour ish size and my shorts are all too big but I just I'm not ready to go there with jeans and I actually want to try and try the trend of the Judy blue jeans if I'm gonna go for new jeans before I'm at my ultimate like end weight goal which is a year or so out like surgery and everything all that kind of stuff I might put my money into Judy blues because they have like the little if you don't know about Judy Blues, you're not on TikTok. <laughs> but they suck your whole stomach in without feeling like you're wearing a girdle. And they look amazing and they're pretty affordable. So I've been like looking at different boutiques that sell them um, and different styles. And so I might just try and figure out um, what one I want to order and see if it works. Also, I kind of think that they play a mind game. It's a very good one because it's working for people. I think that they size them a size or two too big. Like they mark it as a 16, but really it's a 14 because women love to be able to say, I am a size 16, but they keep telling me I get to order a size 14 and the 14 will fit. That feeds our psyche so much. Oh, look at this, I'm in a size 14. Even though we logically know we're still a size 16 kudos to their marketing or if they truly are like if women really are like a different size because size jean sizes all over the country are never accurate from one store to the next from one style to the next they're never ever the same so I don't know if it's a marketing ploy it's winning because <laughs> even me like thinking I could order that size but really they're telling me to order two sizes smaller I don't know that's where it's intriguing so I'm gonna go home and get lunch and we'll see what else I get up to I'm tired so I don't know if I'm gonna get up to oh yeah we're gonna start to pack so we'll do that when I get home. all right I've kind of been packing up a few things also kind of sorting through my closet <laughs> decluttering a little bit I have a few shirts packed I have three t-shirts and a dress for Sunday um, in case I go to church I'm not sure if we're gonna take the time to or not I don't know what time my dad's church is um, or what we're gonna be doing that day but then there's another shirt this is what I'm gonna wear for the baby shower I might actually wear this for dinner out the night before as well which is why I kind of have some extra just regular t-shirts packed um, so that I have some extra ones to wear so I have really fun plans with my sister um, she lives part-time in Idaho and part-time in Utah <laughs> Um, 
I think she'd be okay with me saying it's a custody problem. <laughs> but because they're going to be in Idaho, we are going to stop and say hi and go to dinner with them. They have made reservations for us, but we're going to surprise you guys with where we're going to dinner because it's a really cool place from what I hear. So I think we're just going to be surprised together. Um, I'm very excited about that. So we're going to sp spend some time with them and then we'll share with you what else we do that evening. I'm excited about that, but I don't know if I want to pack two different shirts to like, like dressy shirts because we're only going to be going out to dinner for like you know, an hour or two or whatever, and then I'll probably just be putting pajamas on. <laughs> so I don't want to like waste a shirt, I guess. Um, I'll just rewear that same shirt for um, the baby shower the next day, but then I might want to change into just casual t shirt and shorts. So it is going to be um, hot still. <laughs> it's going to be, we have dark and dreary, but we actually are going to get up to 80, 85 degrees again on over the weekend. And so they're, they're following the same weather pattern as us, so there's no packing cold weather clothes yet. <laughs> Not at all. I will take my jacket, my sweatshirt, zip up with me, um, just for like nighttime or whatnot, but other than that, we don't need um, cold weather clothes. I also have gotten my little um, bathroom bag kind of pre-packed here. Um, so let me walk you through what I've got packed with this. You guys know I, I pack with a plan and I pack ahead of time. Um, I have some face wipes. I have a scrunchie to be able to do my hair with. I pull it up um, to be able to straighten it. I haven't put all my makeup brushes in because I'm, I'm a week out or more <laughs> from going. Um, but I have, oh, there's a bus. Um, but I have my nail kit in here. I mainly tuck this away so that I can hide it from my kids. I don't know how many nail kits I've bought that they keep stealing them. Same with um, ponytails, so I'm hiding my ponytails. And then I have a makeup palette that I will, I don't normally use this one because I don't, as you can see, I don't actually like put a full face of makeup on every day. I just do my eyes, which I tend to just use like little, where oh, I haven't packed. Anyway, I have little ones that I use, which are in here, I'll just show you. So I tend to just use like this little guy from ColourPop. I have some mascara. I just put a little bit of a base on um, with either foundation or like this little concealer. And then I have foundation and I have um, a blush, some, what do you call that, primer. And this is what I usually use. Um, I have that one and then like that for my eyes. And there is also a razor in there. So in case I need to, oh my goodness sakes, shave my face. Then in here, I just have more makeup. Um, I also have some alcohol to do my injections with, along with my medications. I do need to put my injection pen in here. Uh, Meclizine, I don't need that. So you can take that guy out. That's just left over from past trips. Um, and then I've got foundation, or no, powder. Um, powder and apply a lotion down underneath there. Razor, uh, what's this? Um, shampoo and conditioner because, oh, that's a deodorant. I have conditioner over here um, because I'm not sure if my dad's bathroom is used very much these days and I only need to wash my hair one time so I do have just a travel size to take with me so I don't have to take a big one. In here I have some, what are these ones? Hand wipes, I don't know if I, these are, just, some of this is left over from like our travel, you know, there's like a shower cap. Um, I don't know if I need these, but you never know when you're gonna need a wipe. So it's kind of a, a basics at this point, um, but it is kind of packed. I kind of work out of it as I prepare to travel. I also, if you ever wanna know where you can get little travel containers, for cotton balls or Q-tips or little things like this. This is a gum case. Yes, it's just a case of extra gum. And I just take the little packaging out and then it's perfect for Q-tips. So I have that ready to go. I will have to take my straightener because I will have my hair done. I might actually just straighten my hair in the car before I get to, I'm trying to get a hair off the counter. I might straighten my hair um, on the road. 
I might just plug it in in the car <laughs> and straighten my hair on the road. So anyway, I'm not gonna pack a whole ton more. Like I'm not gonna pack all of my makeup palettes. I have basic makeup that I'm gonna do. I will have like a full face of makeup all three days that we are there just because we are going to functions and we're having a family dinner and then I'll be going to church and all that kind of stuff. So I do need to like pack makeup, which is different than like other times that we travel, but I also can like pack full lotions and stuff just in my regular suitcase. So I did get my suitcase down, put it in here, or put it just out in the open. Jason's got some extra storage bags that he can put his stuff in. I'm literally just gonna set this stuff aside. Like we don't need to worry about like being super picky about packing right away. I just wanted to like start working on it to see if I need anything. What is this? Oh, underwear. <laughs> I still have to sleep with a bra on at night so I need to make sure I have all different kinds of bras with me. So other than that, like I'm not gonna do any more with that right now. So we'll go downstairs and let's see what the kids are up to. They're just starting to trickle home, I think. I think Chelsea just got home. Kaylee's at work. Abby came home while I was out walking. Kaylee and Ashley will be home within the hour. All right, I forgot to tell you, I have a curriculum night tonight. It's my last one, easiest one, but hardest one to get to. So I've left 50 minutes early to fight traffic, to get there early, to get a close up parking spot, starting to rain, and I only have to stay for three classes because that's all that Abby has, which is so amazing. And she, anyway, she has easy to get to classrooms as well. <laughs> um, so I'm, the hardest part will be just fighting this traffic. It's just right in the middle of rush hour traffic to come home. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna go do. I will be back with you as soon as I'm done at curriculum night. Did you get rained on a ton? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't wear your rain jacket one. Was that hoodie okay? Uh, Wasn't terrible rain. Yeah. Is that a little treat bag? From. That's cute. From Barbie Day. Oh. Neck over? Well, they didn't give us the stuff because they didn't know how many people would do it. Oh. You okay? Huh? You're tired, huh? Let's go home. Call it a day. Say goodnight to everyone. Good night. I'm calling a night too. <laughs> well done. Easy.